Hello, sweet souls. Happy Tuesday, January 30th. This is going to be your angel message reading. We're going to call in St. Michael. St. Michael, please return to sender. Anyone sending ill will, through thought, word, or action towards myself or the viewer, we're going to call in the Holy Spirit, angel saints, spirit guides, and ancestors, and ask for a message for your greater good. So, let's see. Let's see what we get. Truth and only truth for the collective. Truth and only truth for the collective. You've had so many energies trying to create resistance in your life. However, your faith and your connection with your intuition has guided you. For the collective. Yeah, and you're going to see growth. There's a lot of threes here. You might be seeing three, three, three. Um, pay attention to that. That's the Ascended Masters coming in to help you remove obstacles, to deal with opposing forces. But you're going to see the fruits of your labor. You're going to see things start to grow for you. Again, with the moon. This could happen around the moon cycles as well, is what I'm hearing. We just had a full moon. So you could start seeing a change, an improvement in whatever it is you're working on in the near future. Yeah, change <laughs> just came out. The change that's occurring is you have so much peace coming in. Truth and only truth for the collective. Yeah, and whoever's been observing you, the divine is saying you don't have to worry. You have protection. You are protected from these negative energies trying to send an evil eye or disrupt in your flow. You have hold the power. You have divine energy in you. And so you're able to transmute negative energy. The things you're manifesting, they're saying keep doing it keep staying in a high vibration because they're going to come to fruition okay for the collective yeah you're co-creating with the divine unseen forces and the moon also is in that card and it's expect the unexpected something unexpected is coming in Yeah, you're releasing this lustful energy, release and hunger. This is someone that operates in their lower chakras. This is someone that operates um, in the 3D base, base needs, base desires. This is not someone that's evolved. You are pouring into your own cup of self-love. Wait a minute, baby. I'm almost done for the collective. Yeah, you have strong willpower. And you've been through the extremes. You've been through the mud. You've been drugged through the mud. And you're too strong now. You're calling it abundance. And that's what you're focused on. Your creative projects. What you can create in your life. Again, the moon. Wow, that was a lot. Hold on a minute, baby. Wait a minute, baby. Yeah, you're attracting what you're manifesting. And you have sovereignty. You have freedom. Physical, spiritual emotional freedom anything else yeah you've reflected on the areas that you needed to heal you healed and now balance is being restored on all levels the 3d realm and the spiritual realm yeah continue to place your trust in god in the divine you have pure intention as long as you have pure intentions um nothing but good things will come to you okay so they don't want you to worry. Continue in that space of purity. Good intentions. Yeah, and take action. Because a new beginning is here. A new door, a new path is opening for you. All right, let's pull from another deck and see what we get. Let's pull from the Healing Oracle Energy Deck. Energy, energy Oracle Deck. Healing Energy Oracle. All right. Truth and only truth for the collective. What messages do you have for the collective, please? What messages do you have for the collective? We have your belief and faithfulness. Has shown you the path to light. Your belief and your faithfulness has shown you the path to light. That's amazing. So you know which path you're meant to be on in this life. Yeah, you have inner strength because you operate from a space of unconditional love. Love of yourself, love of the divine, love of humanity. Yeah. 
Yeah. They said, take action by following the voice of your heart, your intuition, your link with the divine. Take action that is directly linked to your, your intuition, what your gut is telling you. Yeah, because that's being true to you. Being true to what's right for you, not what other people think or believe you should do. You're opening to the universe by listening to your heart. Um, affirmations. This is talks about being in a positive mindset, making positive affirmations uh, to keep your vibration up. Yeah, positive thinking. Because a new opening is happening. A new opening is occurring in your life that leads to success. That's beautiful. All right. Let's see. What else do we get? Do the angels and ancestors. Truth and only truth for the collective, please. Truth and only truth for the collective. You have the sun. They're saying be brave and honest. You have success coming in. And we saw that. Success. Keep pushing forward, being brave and honest, and know that success is yours. Look at this. You are exchanging energy to create abundance in your life. Being in that high vibration, manifesting, having pure intentions is creating abundance for you. Yeah, dream big. You're on a new journey. They said it's time for you to dream big. And unleash the wild within you. You have the ability to manifest whatever you want. And it's time to tap into that energy. Yeah, set your sights higher. Dream big. Follow the voice of your soul. We already saw that. Your intuition is your guide to success, okay? Take charge with authority. Go after what it is you want to create and believe in yourself. All right, let's get advice from this card. Or this deck. I don't remember this deck. The name of it. What advice do you have for the collective, please? What advice do you have for the collective? Truth and only truth for the collective. Time to move on. Flow with the river and see where it takes you. Not having a fixed plan, but just being in a high vibration and being open. Then we have let go of a fixed plan. I just said that. Allow for spontaneity and growth. Breathe love into your life. Remind yourself to breathe. Some of you may be doing, need to do some breathing exercises. Everything is as you've created. All you create offers you lessons in life. This came out, I believe, yesterday. Um, you are learning from your past experiences. You're not let, letting that destroy you or define you, but you're taking that experience and you're learning from it. And miracles happen. Give the universe your clear intentions. The bottom of the deck, be, feel, receive abundance. All that you desire is achievable. So much about abundance here. Abundance can be in the form of financial security, but it can also be abundance and security, like stability, a home life that is happy and and just feeling safe, okay? Let's pull from this deck. Truth and only truth for the collective. What does the collective need to be aware of, please? You're a celestial teacher. You've surrendered your life. You've surrendered everything to God. Yeah, pet in a new chapter. Came out yesterday. One shrouded in light. A new beginning. Based on a free will choice you made in the past. You're only being strengthened at this time. You're getting your courage back. Your strength. You're empowered to move forward. Yeah, you may have been very emotional while you've been trying to purge negative energy, but you definitely are moving forward. Whoops. Yeah, we set, they're saying be still and continue to operate in a space of integrity. You are connected with the divine and the divine knows based on your free will choice, and you deciding to tap in and to be more grounded and stable. You are a free spirit and you are learning to listen to your intuition. Things are shifting. You're in a space of gratitude and you're letting go and balance is being restored for you. So keep pushing forward. You're doing the right thing. You're in alignment. Just keep going, okay? Be patient, but things are definitely aligning for you. All right, guys, this is your angel message reading. I love you. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye.